welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we're here today doing the Ultimate Iron Man competition. Thank you, Captain Adonis and Know It All DM, for um, making this all possible. Uh, I just wanted to show you at the start of this video here, I'm, I'm out actually exploring with the SV and... Uh, I took out a advanced um, fortress to loot it, and I just looted heavy armor out of one of the containers. Yay! That is a huge score. So that was right here. It, it's now vanished, the kinetic, because I zapped it, and it only lasts a bit. 15 seconds or something. Um, where was that now? That was zapping. Zapping through, you can see I... I just shot through, <laughs> shot through, cord it, put my own cord in. So yeah, I, I took it out from a distance because that way nothing spawns. But whatever, I mean, I wasn't actually videotaping them. This is just to uh, get gear. Um, let's see if there's anything behind this one. Ooh, there is. Do I have enough room on me? Nope. Here, let's just uh, quickly put the stuff away here. There's the rest of the loot that I've been looting from this place. I've multi-tooling it. I looted a furnace. Woo! A shotgun. Ooh, multi-turret for a HV. Sweet! Oh, I can go get the HV now. I'm not even level 20. That's a huge find. Wow. Uh, laser turret. Okay, whatever. Sentry guns and the heavy armor. Yeah, some health packs, good. Put that in the uh, mobile constructor. Yep. Pretty good, pretty good loot so far. Wow. Um, okay, let's continue. So, we'll just uh, finish looting this really quick and then uh, we'll... Um, I'm, I'm going to be continuing off camera to go around and smash a bunch of POIs and loot them. Although getting the heavy armor and getting that 2-2 pulse is a huge thing. I mean, I'm only... What am I? I'm level 15. Okay. Well, let's see what this got. And nice! Oh, huge! And an EVA boost. I haven't made one yet. Detox. Pistol. That's, that's actually... That was actually a really good score. That's that's a good score. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, when I find something else, I'll bring you back in. Uh, if I don't, I will probably... Um, I know I said this episode we're going to start smashing the outer um, fortifications, but I really, I also really needed to look for uh, more gear to gear up to go assault the power station by hand. So, you know, that heavy armor there, the pulse rifle, the upgrade kit, that's all things that are going to go towards making my life a little easier going in there. So uh, I will grab you if I find something else. If not, we will be, a, we'll just go and attack the outer defenses. See you in a bit. Okay, we're back. Um, so, we were successful. I was going to take you and show you the loot, but I figured, well, I'm just going to bring it all back here anyway. So, we were successful. That means we're going to be able to upgrade the SV. So, I think, I think that's what we're going to do instead. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what we got here. And, uh, what do I got anything? Oh yeah, well, let's put the food and stuff away here. Garden looks like it's grown, that's pretty cool. Uh, oh, that's our meds. And, oh yeah, our canned stuff there. Put all that away. Good, good. Um, we also, the vendor, the med vendor, um, 
where was he? The med bender at one of the at the civil? Yes. At another where was it here? I was just there. It's so pathetic. No, not the crash capital vessel. Oh me oh my. It was it was like a south area thing. Civil hub. There it is. So that one's like a full civil hub. There's like three of the little outbuildings. There's a medical building. There's a like a, a I don't know, electronics building. There's nothing really in it. And then <clears throat> there's the like the the, the hub that the sh for shuttles with the landing bay. And then there's the full large. Um, engineering where all the generators are. It's this huge building and then there's a tower in behind that with a walkway that attaches. And then there's also a small workshop uh, with a advanced constructor and a bunch of cargo and a repair station inside of it. Um, and so that, I just looted all the goodies out of it. And I also, what did I take over? I found, where are we here? Large comm center. So I smashed that. I'm down to just a few of the rockets left. And there was another, mi no, is that the, is that the, is that another mining hub? Yeah, did I get another mining hub? I think I did. Anyway, so now, I've got all these generators. I don't have any thrusters. I got generators. But that's okay because what we're going to do is sure, I, I got generators. That's not going to help me a lot. Well, yes, it will. And I'm going to show you why I got to repair this thing, by the way, too. But we'll do that when we strip the um, when we strip the rocket launchers out and replace them with the better rocket launchers. So here we go. Let's do this. What, what we're going to do is we're going to grab stuff and throw it into this right here. It is my um, deconstructor. Oops, went past it. There we go. I'm going to send that to the factory. It's pretty cheap. It's just a, it's just a deconstructor with a uh, core, a base core attached to it. And then, so that that allows you to actually uh, multi-tool the the uh, deconstructor down as as a single block without destroying it. And then you can just pop the core to remove the base <laughs> that it creates, technically. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna make the deconstructor base. Um, <laughs> And it looks like I've got a whole bunch of overage. So all I need is some sathium, not a lot. And then a little bit of a smidge of copper. So sathium, well, got some hardened steel there. I wonder if that's gonna be enough, five? Almost. I don't wanna put the pulse rifle in. Let's uh, find I think in here, yeah, I've got lots of, so you can see all these, um, these pretty little gizmos and gadgets that we can deconstruct. Oh, it's going to be good. Glorious. Actually, I'm just going to throw those in there just for a second. Get them out of my way. I don't really want to deconstruct them. Right now, they're not really, they don't have any useful mats for me at this point. They're just, they would work good in a, um, to make a, a, a full vehicle or something, like a full, a regular blueprint. Not a cheesy one that I'm doing right now. <laughs> Yes, I said cheesy. So I looted a furnace. Uh, I didn't multi-tool it off something. I looted that from, I don't know, a secret container that I popped open with uh, from multi-tooling blocks away. Uh, 
We've got a T2 pulse, so I'm thinking I might take that as my weapon. I might upgrade to that. I got a whole bunch of, look at this, I got one, two, three heavy armor, one, two, three, four medium armor. Like, it was a huge score. I've taken the SV out and and going and smashing a couple of, uh, and look at all, look at all these, t these generators, it's insane. Uh, those are going to get me some good mats. And we're going to use that to get other stuff. Um, actually, these force fields have really good mats. What I want to make is, is I want to upgrade the, to four of the uh, homing rocket launchers for the SV. I want to upgrade to four of those. Now this has restroom stuff in it, a multi turret. I'm only putting them in there just in case. I don't really want to use a lot of this stuff. Okay, so let's start with the Sathium. Uh, we got to finish off the Sathium, right? So let's, let's just grab some of these. And we'll see what we can do here. Um, four left. One. Well, that was one block. Wow. Okay, two two blocks. I can't contribute any more to that. We can just put copper in. You know, it's only going to be four minutes. Eh, not that big of a deal. So, yeah, I'll put that away. We'll, uh, you know what, put this, I haven't actually really started doing anything with this base yet. Yeah, I guess I should. Uh, okay, so, we need some copper. We need copper. Well, I guess I shouldn't put all the stuff on, but I'm going to need some space to zap get it right so I'm gonna need to put some of this crap away or I'll just um, put it in box number two it's a bizarre the bizarro one that nothing is in okay so let's grab that copper we have a bunch in the advanced constructor for sure here we'll just Go like this. Throw, what is it? 25. Okay. And we just got to wait around. It's too late in the morning for... Um, well, we, we missed night. We missed sleeping. We could have potentially caught it, but we missed it by a bit. Oh, well. So we're going to have to wait a few minutes of real time. In the meantime, what we can do is we can... I have pretty good faith with what we have on base here and what we've looted that I'm going to be able to upgrade all these, or at least a couple of them. Um... I hope so. <laughs> really, really, really hope so. Okay, we're going to take them out. Give us the chance to paint inside there and, and upgrade any blocks that I haven't upgraded. I think they're all upgraded to, to a hardened steel, though. So, um... <clears throat> Oh, that one looks like regular steel in there. Some of them I couldn't quite get to, right? So it might be regular steel. I basically baked it, built it out of steel, and then around the cockpit I I upgraded, and then all anything I could get to at the front of it on the outside I upgraded. Uh, I popped the stuff out and upgraded, but I think I missed a bunch there, yeah, so... We got to look at upgrading that. In the meantime, we can repair stuff. And we'll just wait for the uh, 
we'll get the message. You know what? Let's tab out and tab back in to get our radar back. You, you don't necessarily have to tab out and tab back in. I think you just have to bring up some sort of different menu. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. And you'll get your radar back. I'm not sure if they're going to fix that or not. Because there is an easy... A, a, a fairly easy workaround for it, so it's, I mean, it's a it's a moot point for me. I don't really care. Okay, uh, good. That looks a lot better. It's not a little so uh, dinged up. Xerox shooting me up. Okay, and then we're probably going to pop out, let's do that right now, Boy, need to repair that, a bunch of these in the front, yeah, it's getting peppered by the red, the, the red turrets on the bases, they they're really hard to avoid, almost impossible. Like it's just like, woof. They start coming at you, and you like, you know, it doesn't matter if you're like max distance. You're just, I don't know. You you just got to keep flying. You got to force them to rotate. Really, is what you got to do, and try and keep ahead of their uh, their shooting arc. Um, or you just have a really hardened front end to your ship like this one and I mean other than the, the lights at the front but it's all hard and behind it so it's you know not too bad I am missing a couple s squares aren't I oh well there's guns in front of that that it's got to get through first so <laughs> it's got to get through some uh, high hit point guns really the guns have high hit points. Better than the blocks. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely looking better now. Okay. I should really paint those. It would look better, wouldn't it? Oh, well. I guess... Uh, you know what? I could. I could. I will. Let's. Yay, Blueprint Production successful. So let's get the texture tool. We're going to unlock that. We're going to unlock the multi-tool, the uh, tier two multi-tool. I'm hoping to be able to make that. Um, I want to unlock the rocket launcher, uh, which is also going to allow us to unlock the T2 rocket launcher. Because I want to make that. Because that's, uh, that's not bad for a... Um, a tier 2 weapon that does area damage. It's pretty good range and for indoors it's, I mean, plenty range. It doesn't be fine indoors. Um, up, upgrade to that. Isn't bothered with should we do the minigun projectile, the laser. I love the laser. Now, what do we need for the laser rifle? That's just, we've already got it with the pulse rifle. Okay, I, I love the laser rifle too. The two laser weapons are really cool. They're, they're fast, they're accurate. Um, they always have the same range. They do good fantastic damage it's just that they're really expensive to make ammo for <sighs> am i i'm not even gonna use the the sniper if I, I mean if i loot one fine i know how to make the ammo for it just by knowing the base rifle and we took the multi-tool um so worried about the fusion is level 20 auto miner I don't care my t1 HV can 
if I go to play in the amount of time it takes me to place the auto miner and then drive all the way back to where it is again to pick it up I would just completely be able to, to mine like two or three deposits so it's it seems like a waste of my time if I'm actually going to make and use auto miners. I, I don't know. I just I I guess the concept is you 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 only have a split second to go do, drop them off on a planet somewhere, um, and you really you don't have like a good combat vehicle and there's like patrol vehicles and stuff and you, and you can lay out a couple really quick on on some real juicy deposits and take off and I get that and then you can come back and and pick them up really quick right um okay i get that i get that and that's where it's viable uh, that's not really my play style i won't need to do that i'll probably have a cv if i'm going to another planet to do that and i mean and if i am going to mine i need it now if i'm taking my sv with my me to mine so I, I'm gonna mine it by hand I'm gonna hand bomb it anyway I guess I could like assist myself by putting a no it just it doesn't make sense seems like a waste of energy um, okay so the next thing is is we want to go spawn this thing let's see how close let's see if we can get this thing spawned without having to go too too far so how far do we gotta go here oh it would allow us pretty close pretty close oh, come on get down oh, come on down to the ground how far can we get it I saw it go green for a second there right there we go okay so now we can just um, pop this off because if we look at it it's its own base now um, but what we're going to do is it's set to private and because it's got a core we can just set to retrieve blocks and pick it up and we'll just pick up the core too well it's parts when it explodes there we go uh, so now we have a deconstructor voila that is how you do it so I went into creative and all I did is I put down a base starter stripped away everything except for the core and put a uh, a deconstructor attached to it basically and then and then save that as a blueprint pretty basic uh, so you can you can do that with pretty much any part in the game really if you really need it, well any block not part but block let me let me uh, say that correctly okay well there we go we've got our deconstructor what I also want to do is I want to get this opened no I think it's is it two that I do I think so and then I gotta upgrade all that okay and then we're gonna pop this out here okay and then I'm gonna upgrade all that okay so that's the soft we're getting we're getting into the uh, tootsie the, the center of the tootsie roll there um, I thought that would have gotten upgraded when I zapped it, but no, see some of the stuff I couldn't quite get to because I should have actually taken the cockpit out and fully, I'm not sure if I could have got to those blocks even if I'd taken the cockpit out really. Anyway, let's go place this thing. So what we really want to do is I want to put it in here somewhere. So we could put it up there right so now you know what look I think we can fit it up here I 
think we can fit it up here. I just gotta pop out. I just gotta move this. I don't think anything's in it. Oh yeah, it's a cargo box too. Uh. <laughs> yeah, let's just pop it. Let's just pop it and destroy all of our goodies. Um, okay. So, you know what? I'm only using... I'm not even using all these constructors. I don't, I don't think I got anything in this one, do I? Nothing. Okay. That's it. This, this one's getting replaced. As soon as I reload, it's getting replaced. And the deconstructor is going to go in its place. Now let's fix the way it's facing. You want that upside down? Yeah, that looks good. There we go. And I don't think it really matters. Um, let's see front and back. It's They're both the same, see? Yeah, both the same. So it just doesn't matter. So let's put that in. We now have a deconstructor. Woo! That looks like it's going to make my HV freak out, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting a little kludgy in here for my HV, to tell you the truth, even though it's a tiny little HV. Um, there we have it. Let's go have some fun with the deconstructor. So, what do we got here? What do we got? Let's, uh, we've got a ton of these freaking, we've got a bunch of repair bays and assault rifle. Although that, I kind of want to hang on to because I can directly use. I want to hang on to these. That especially right now is like I really don't want to use that right now. Um, and I believe I've got... Okay, let's put this away. Let's put that away. Put this away. That's fine. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure this one right here, yeah, has a whole bunch more stuff that we can throw in. See, another repair bay, uh, more more generators. I looted a plasma cannon from a, um, oh, and I got another furnace in there. So we've got a bunch of stuff to deconstruct. A bunch of stuff. So I think we can definitely get the gear that we need. So I'm not going to deconstruct both the repair bays. I'm going to deconstruct one. Um, got a whole bunch of generators left. Don't know how many of those I need. We've got a whole bunch of these. I don't need a whole bunch of furnaces. We've got, I don't need a whole bunch of repair stations. Okay, so let's put those back, put those back, although I might actually need those, let's, no I won't, because I just, I'm adding more weaponry. Um, so should I put the rocket launcher into the thing, or, because I don't think you can upgrade, let's take a look, let's see what we got here, what it's going to take. So rocket launcher, the Zascosium, Zascosium alloy. Oh crap. Oh, that's way harder. Huh. Huh. Yikes. I don't think I'm going to get a lot of alloy out of the force fields, although I might get a whole bunch of ingots. 
I might get some alloy out of the repair station. I'll probably get a bunch out of the repair bay. I get nothing out of the constructor. Or the advanced constructors or the generators, I don't think. Hmm. I do have these power coils, but they don't need power coils to be made. Oh, yes, they do too. Okay, good. So I can definitely get one more power coil too. Oof. Oof. Ooh, oscillator. We only have one. I got to make one more of those. That means I need more Neo, which I can get from the... So I don't think that's going to be a problem. So let's start by throwing in... Um, let's see what we get for one... If we throw in multiples at once, I'm not sure if it's going to work the same. Because he's, I'm not sure. Because these ones don't stack. So let's see what happens with just one of those. See, it gives us a bunch of oscillators. So two oscillators, a bunch of flux coils, some sapphire and more. Whole whack of plates and electronics. A little bit of cobalt alloy. So that's that's good. I mean, it's very useful. And that'll get us what we need to be able to make um, um, stuff like thrusters for CVs and stuff too. So, I mean, it's all useful. What we're going to try next is the repair bay. So that's going to take a while because we're on super ultra slow construction speed. And it's not even close to uh well what i'm gonna do then is i'm just gonna throw a whole bunch of this crap in here that and that that i'm pretty much gonna put everything in <laughs> we're just gonna go like that and see what happens and when it's done Doing all of that, I'll come back and get you. See you in a bit. All right, we are back, and you can see that it has given us a bunch of goodies. So basically, uh, I went a little crazy with the deconstruction. <laughs> I don't have really much left in the way of stuff to deconstruct. I might throw like the pulse rifles and stuff in if I don't have enough, but mm, I, like I said, I, I want to hold off doing those. Those are like last resort. Last resort. Okay. <laughs> Let's grab all this stuff. Awesome. We're going to go into here. And we're just going to dump it all into here. Okay. We should be able to... Um, oh, I guess I need to actually unlock that. So let's go into small vessel. And we're going to unlock the level 15 rocket launcher. Is that all we need for the small vessel right now? We've got the detector. Um, I guess we can do these. That's the tool. I got the T2 multi-tool weapons. <coughs> hmm. And I could do the mini gun just so that I can make the ammo. I guess that's not a bad idea. Let's do that. Hover vessels. What are we missing here? Let's get the rocket turret learned. We can learn this stuff, although I guess we'll be making a better HV, a combat HV, I think, eventually here. So 
Uh, we'll take that so that we can upgrade to that. We've learned a multi tool turret right now, but we can, or we we looted one, but we could learn one right now. I think we'll hold off. Uh, rail gun. Hmm. Okay, I think we need to do a lot of the CV base work stuff here. So let's <clears throat> let's get the armor locker. We'll do the repair station. Um, I'm thinking we're going to need these f eventually, even though I, I just deconstructed a couple of repair bays. Armored doors. Let's do the uh, landing gear, shutter doors, <coughs> projectile turrets, rocket turrets, RCS thrusters. Bigger thrusters, better RCS, regular generators, O2, better O2, cockpit, gravity, sure. Hmm. Let's take a look at base. Oh, we must look at the fuel tank. Larger fuel tank. We want the T3, not quite yet. Um, I guess we could learn both those, even though the. So we'll take the repair bay, ATM, projectile turret, rocket turrets, the ramps, no. Uh, you know what? We'll do we'll do the furnace. You know what? More tank. Eleven points left. Ramps, force fields, projectile pistol, sniper. Ammo box, flare. Big thrusters, big hover engines. Ramps, ramps, let's do ramps, fine. Okay. <clears throat> so now, when we go into here, we'll have a whole bunch of choices. And rocket launcher homing is one of them. So let's start making, we'll at least make two. We'll try and make three. Actually, we're going to try and make four. I had all the parts to make the first one just right off the bat, start assembling it. So that's awesome. Don't know if we're going to get that lucky with the next one, even though we've got lots of electronics and other bits. We need to make some, but not too bad. Well, it'll be able to make another one at least, so we're going to get three out of it at least. So this is cool. This is huge, uh, getting more rockets installed. <clears throat> so what do they take? They take the 135H MSL. 135H MSL. Promethium Magnesium Electronics. Promethium Magnesium and Electronics. Okay. So can I do that in the smaller one? Promethium, magnesium, okay, so grab electronics, promethium, and let's just grab the magnesium powder there, and that, 
Okay. How is that coming? Are we going to get an... Oh, it looks like we're going to get all four out of it. Excellent. So it's probably going to eat up... Oh, no. We're going to have a decent... Oh, yeah. See? Not too bad. Not too bad. We're going to have some Zascosium and Arrestrium left. So that's not too bad. <clears throat> we didn't have to use our uh, HV uh, stuff that we had looted. So that's really good. Okay, let's get these rockets going here. We wanted the 135H MSL. Um, do I just want to make as many as I can? Let's do that. Let's make it until it can't make it anymore. Magnesium will be the limiting factor on these. <clears throat> I'm not going to get very many out of it, but that's okay. I think they make more. These ones output a six. These ones are output a seven. Uh, one more. That's not bad. That's okay. So we'll get a bunch of rockets made. That's excellent. That is very excellent. Although with four of them, it's going to take a lot to load. So the new ones, they have a capacity of 15. So I need to make 60 rockets just for them to um, reload. So anything over 60 is what will show up in the uh, ammo box after they load. So in order for them to load up twice, so that's 120. So I want to do increments of 60. Well, that's going to be bizarre considering I make 7 per batch. Well... This isn't too bad. We're getting quite a bit out of it. We're getting quite a bit. Hopefully we can get it over a hundred. But we'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> yeah, we'll get, we'll definitely get over a hundred. We'll get way over a hundred. So, what? We can figure it out. So, magnesium powder is five ore for ten powder. Okay, and then two powder. Seven, five, or mix ten powder. So seven times five, forty-two, forty-two missiles per five or. Hmm. Forty-two missiles per five or. Okay. That's good to know. Yep, we're definitely going to get our 120. We're going to have more than 120. So we'll be able to reload our our uh, rocket launchers twice. Well, we're going to have to go find some more magnesium too then, I take it. But at least this will give us enough to take out. This should be able to allow us to take out the exterior defenses of the power station which is uh, this week's mission objective the purple named POI uh, apparently other people have different POIs that are all about the same difficulty level um, I guess are the epsilon POIs for starter planets 
and there's it can be a random a ran it's a it's a random selection based on the grouping that you select. So and there's three or four different ones in each group and I I guess the Epsilon you have a chance of getting one of those per planet as your uh, as your mission POI or per uh, per player I should say not per planet but per starter planet I guess uh, so there we go we've got a decent su supply of missiles now and we can put our rockets on put rockets on and we didn't actually make the color tool or texture tool have we we don't have either of those yet do we okay so let's make those they'll just take a second to do and let's do that let's eat something we'll just look down go for the food processor I forget which one it is it's not that one but I'll take those stack that up we're building we're making meds right now uh, getting ready for the mission okay excellent <clears throat> so let's go clean this up And you know what? Let's drone it up. Uh, oh, you know, did we? We should probably... Do we have any? No, we don't. Okay, so I'm going to need... I do have more. Or I have ingots. What I need is... So five ingots gives me ten. Make one, two... That should do it. That should do it. Okay. Okay, first of all, we're going to... Upgrade... A bunch of these blocks so that... Uh, I don't get instantly killed if the weapon blows up or gets shot, you know, destroyed. Oh, looks like I missed a bunch of paint anyway. Okay, I'm just making sure I got everything upgraded. Sound like I'd missed a bunch, so. Good. Upgraded. And upgraded. Okay. So let's paint and texture. Hmm. So we'll just go with the, uh, we'll go with the texture that I 
been giving it, I guess. Because I'm boring. <laughs> I just don't have a lot of time to be all fancy. Sorry, guys. I just... I don't have a lot of time. So at least if I... Do it a little bit uniform from what it already is. I don't have to spend a lot of time retexturing and yeah I just I know I'm being lazy okay So it looks like I'm switching back to regular iron, but it's not. It's just the texture I'm changing. Just the appearance of it. Okay. Uh, is that it then? Nope. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is it. Okay. Okay, so now the paint. No, not multi tool. We want the paint. And we'll give it the standard. Um, you know what? We can do the medium and whole block at this point. So everything's the same color right now. We'll just. Get right in there. Get this paint in there. There we go. Wow, I missed a whole bunch, apparently. I could hear it painting it. That's funny. Okay. Uh, oops, my base. I'm painting my base. Whatever. I'm just a pirate and a pillager anyway. Painted throat. Okay. Uh, should we do? No, oh, can't paint it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Apparently, I didn't paint it. That all that weird noise was actually it. It successfully paint, painting blocks. So. I'd missed a whole bunch inside there, but I don't think it really matters because I, I was only really worried about the ones you could see anyway, really. So, meh. Okay, I think I got those. Okay. Let's get this in and we'll call it an episode. Okay, so. as far do we want that sticking out like that or do we want that in more <sighs> it's going to start compromising the integrity of the cockpit if we put it in more so I think I want to just I'll have it sticking out that's fine that's fine so it's it's one one more block back right there so two blocks back from forward. Come on, all the way in. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Thank you. And buddy in the bottom. Oh. Where is he supposed to be? Now he is supposed to be. 
Okay, same thing. So, nope, one more. So, come on, one more. There we go. Right there. Yep. Awesome. That's got that's got a good array of guns. Eh? <laughs> four missile launchers, four homing rocket launchers, and six miniguns. There we go. That looks nasty. Let's get this painted. And we'll just go with my my default green right now. Okay. Good. Good. It looks deadly. It looks freaking deadly. I'm going to have close to like 140 missiles for it. Uh, we're going to go and play with some POIs next episode. So we are going to go take on the POIs now because I've, I've been able to upgrade the rocket launchers and got four of them on there now. So we can, we can do some serious damage when we shoot. So, awesome. There we have it. The upgraded SV. Is this not damaged? Really? Or is it just a weird reflection? Yeah, it's damaged. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I'll continue to repair this thing. And, uh, uh, doesn't look like there's much left to repair. Okay. Anyway, next episode, we're going to take this thing out and smash those POIs surrounding the power station and prep ourselves to assault the, prep, the power station by foot. So until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day. <laughs>